Okay, so my thing was recently, um, for reasons, uh, we wanted to have a diabetes monitor. And the, we had an old one that we just happened to have around. And uh, now this is relatively inexpensive, but the it's AccuCheck, so it, you know it's a de- you know it's a brand name. Mm-hmm. Uh, it actually hooks up to your phone via Bluetooth. And has an app that you can then track your diabetes ratings over time. And then you'll be able to, let's say, if you have to track it for whatever reason, you can use their app and then go to your doctor and say, okay, well, here's my readings. Here's how my diabetes has been going without having to write it down in a book or try to treat, you know, try to remember that, okay, I did this, I did this. What was that number I wrote down again? I can't read it. And I just remember where being Bluetooth connected to your smartphone was a high-end feature at one time. You know, it was like, oh, and this is our special. You have to get our deluxe, super deluxe model, which is so much more money. And now it's like, oh, yeah, pretty pretty much unless you go with, like, the base bottom line, you can get connected via Bluetooth and connect it up to your smartphone. So I, it just, it was just kind of like, oh. This I I I also kind of like the name of the um of course they have to make it they have to mess up the spelling the my sugar S U G R but <laughs> so they can copyright it. But yeah, it just it, it's just kind of you know the fact that your smartphone can be kind of the center of everything health related now makes it so much easier. Now, does that is that a of course link into your health app so you have that all in one place with all your other stats? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can you can do it yeah. where you can allow it to do that. Yes, excellent. I, I think and, I and think it's a thing. it is a you have to opt in to do it, which is good. I I rather have the opt in versus the opt out option. Yeah. No, yeah, because that that's where that's important. Because like I'm still using the Wellatory app, and it's still like pulling some interesting things. It's pulling my food in. It's saying, hey, when mm-hmm. you do this, this is what happens to your sleep. And things like that. Um, and even just having all that stuff just be like, here, doc, this is what's happening. I have not had that experience yet. I'm way, way past my checkup. Uh, and I'm like, I do kind of be like, hey, um, is this helpful, you know, in here? Is there anything else you should be looking at, you know, that that, that would, mm-hmm. you know, be be helpful with trends or anything like that to see if I'm doing okay? Am I doing better, you know, other than just saying work out more? <laughs> now, one thing, I, one thing is nice, though, and this is an update for the one the latest update for the apple watches uh for the apple watch operating system you can now just say let's say i do blood pressure twice a day i take my blood pressure it's not hooked up bluetooth i can just say record blood pressure you know 140 over 95 and it'll put it into my health app just like if i typed it in okay but that's that was a brand new update within the last couple months or so to the uh, Apple Watch OS, just for privacy reasons because it's going through Siri, and you. I think I, I think you have to have an, a Series Nine watch because the Series Nine watches now do Siri on device versus having to go back to the um, to the server, and they don't want to have anything that could be even possibly close to health related going to their server.